the culture of heaven was established on earth when the Garden of Eden, which is a spot of His presence, was lowered through the atmosphere from heaven into the physical environment of the earth. Why? Because every one of us were in God before we came on the earth. And while we were in God, it was the proper environment for us to grow. Outside of that environment, we will become null, void, and extinct. Extinction comes when the environment system is because the environment that was conducive for life for the dinosaur has gone. So as the environment begins to disappear, the species and the living creatures that live in that environment will disappear also. Come, send a kiss for science again. I am from the world of science. Hallelujah. Watch this carefully. When God created and designed this earth, He put 21% oxygen within the atmosphere of the earth. There is an area that we live in that is called the troposphere. The troposphere is very, very thin, about 6 to 24 miles. Very, very thin. He put also 1% of other gas like argon and helium and so forth. And then he put 78% nitrogen to make up the atmosphere. You would think, my Lord, what's happening with God? We need a whole lot of oxygen. But he knew how to balance the planet so that you and I could live. Now, there are lots of activities that goes that must take place between the heavens and the earth to produce the perfect environment for life. And a lot of activities must also take place between the atmosphere and the environment to maintain life too as well. Oh, this thing is going to get good. Dutch never said this is going to get good. You're never going to be afraid of Satan again. Hallelujah. So now, we have the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, the exosphere, and so forth. Amen? You might say, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. Amen. That's for speaking in tongue. We are polluting our planet, and our planet has its own language that communicates with each other for the maintenance of the proper environment to sustain and maintain God's price creation us. So what happens is that as we begin to pollute and we increase greenhouse gases, the earth, America, begins to communicate with Africa. And sometime around Puerto Rico, and sometime around the Caribbean islands, and say, Florida is in trouble. We need water. We have too much pollution in the air. We need to remove the pollution from the air. So tell you what, Africa, South Africa, Send me some rain. He never asked for a hurricane, you know. It's just when the rain begins to cross the sea, it gets the energy from the water when it's hot. But it really and truly, it doesn't want to come and bring all that heavy rain. Now, it depends on the amount of pollution, the rating of the, or the category of the hurricane increases. So if it is a very... Bad pollution, we have to get category five. If it's not that bad, we get category three, two. Amen. And so tornadoes and earthquakes and volcanic eruption take place. Do you know why volcano erupts? Oh, but God designed this earth beautiful. The volcano erupts and it releases sulfur into the air. The sulfur in the air stays suspended in the air for many, many days, even months. Some of the major pollutants you will find, if you can see it on the screen, uh, you have uh, carbon oxide, which is, uh, that produces things like carbon monoxide, and carbon monoxide reduces the ability of blood to absorb oxygen. That's why people suffocate and die if you are exposed to carbon um, monoxide. Then you have your sulfur dioxide, and these things, this particular gas damages plants. It irritates our, the, the respiratory uh, tracts in the human and animals as well. Then you have your nitrogen oxide. Uh, when, when it rains and the lightning strikes the nitrogen that is in the atmosphere, it forces a chemical bonding to take place and causes nitrogen and oxygen to come together, forming nitrogen oxide, and then there is a for the reaction that takes place that produces a nitrate, then the nitrate is so heavy that it falls to the ground 
in the form of sorry, nitrates and it nourishes your plants and the animals. Plants become green. So that's why you find where there's a lot more lightning strikes, the plants are much green. That's why Florida is a green state. No wonder God, oh, hallelujah. Lives. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so the lightning strikes, it hits the atmosphere, hits the nitrogen, converts it into nitrates, it falls to the ground. Everything that is natural is useful for the planet. Even the lightning, which is natural, is useful to the planet. Everything that is unnatural destroys it. Then you have what you call the particulate matters, which are also pollutants. You have things like asbestos, different type of dust and liquid mist and so forth. Then you have hydrocarbons uh, from methane that are produced from the oil refinery, from cow uh, droppings and so forth. That doesn't, that's, I mean, there's not enough cow dropping that's going to pollute the old planet. It's coming from uh, oil refineries and so forth. Now the primary pollutants are attacked by man to produce a secondary Pollutant. For example, the nitrous, the nitrogen oxide that is in the air is waiting to be wet by rain to form nitrates to fall on the planet. But if an airplane drives by, the heat of it breaks the bond and converts it into nitrogen uh, uh, dioxide. When it becomes nitrogen dioxide, dioxide from the heat of the airplane and rain falls, it converts the nitrogen dioxide into nitric acid, producing acid rain. If that plane never flew, we would never have acid rain. And then there is also synthetic ozone that are, that are also polluting our troposphere, causing the planet to heat up. Amen. You have sulfur trioxide and sulfur trioxide, the same thing happens again and again it converts into sulfuric acid and you have a war of acids in our atmosphere. In Leviticus chapter 10 verse 1 and 2 it says, Now Nadab and Abihu, the son of Aaron, each took his censer and put fire in it and laid incense and offered an unholy fire before the Lord such as he had not commanded them. So there's some stuff that we are releasing into the air that God has not. Our fire had to come from the presence of the Lord and devour them and they died before the Lord. I wonder if we are releasing unholy fires every time we drive our motor vehicle. dealing with the atmosphere, amen? How is lightning made? Lightning is made this way. When the moisture of the air, hot air rises up, it goes through the troposphere, reaches around the stratosphere, and it begins to cool down. And when it cools down, it begins to form clouds. When it rises from the earth, it rises as a negative charge. When it collides with the atmosphere in the heavens, where it cools down, it collides with a positive charge. There is a sharing that takes place between the negative and the positive, producing a lightning. That lightning strikes and produces the nitrates, and so there is an ecological balance on the earth. My Bible tells me, behold, I see Satan fall like lightning. It is very important for Satan to fall every time. Because every time he falls, it's like lightning being produced, producing nitrates for the nourishment of the inhabitants of the earth. That's, that's the, nit the, the nitrogen cycle, but we won't go through that. Amen? Amen? Okay, watch this now. An atmosphere, this is the meat of the thing now. Amen? Are you ready for this? Get, re get ready to write now, right? We set the foundation. This is it now. An atmosphere is controlled by whatever comes into it, whether it is invited or uninvited. It is affected by it. The atmosphere is really the air that surrounds the earth. And the air, the Bible says, is representative as the seat of Satan's kingdom. Watch this now. In Ephesians chapter 2, it says what? 
wherein he once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of what? The power of where? The air, the atmosphere of the spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience. So he is the prince. He is the first ruler. He has rulership. Prince means first rule. He has first rule over the atmosphere. But in Matthew chapter 16 and verse 19, God says, But I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That whatsoever you bind on the earth. Now stop, stop right there. The earth is the environment. Now remember, the atmosphere is affected or changed or manipulated by whatever the earth releases to it. In other words, no cloud could be formed until the earth releases something. Uh, help me Jesus. That's what you must say, help me Jesus. And God says, now, I am going to give you the key tonight so that you will always control the atmosphere that Satan has rulership over. So he says, now, I want you to do something from the earth because the heavens can't do anything to affect the atmosphere that Satan rules until you do something first on the earth. So stop singing, when I fly away, how do you say, fly, fly, fly away, glory, whatever. Amen. <laughs> he says, I will give you this key. Take this key. That whatsoever you bind on the earth, the environment, it will be bound in heaven, the atmosphere. And whatsoever you loose on the earth shall be loosed in the atmosphere, in the heavens. So Satan gives us his gift. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch this carefully. Hallelujah. So, so if, if, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pick, piggyback from Dr. Monroe. He says something, something careful. Like, I'm gonna rearrange the wooden sign if you can't wait. Hallelujah. If you want to get rid of demons and devils in your life, come into the kingdom. They don't know nothing about kingdom. There was only one. They were outside. They were outside in the heavens playing. They were playing with the harp and doing. A, they were playing the harp and stuff like that. Right? Satan was the only one that was around the throne of God that had the plan of God concerning kingdom. They don't know about that stuff. They come after religion. Demon and devils, if you, if, come on, come on, those of you that do missionary travel to Trinidad, Robert, when you go to Trinidad, every, everybody you meet is, has a demon. <laughs> yeah. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. And they're coming out of religious people. Mm. Now, 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 the other problem that Lucifer has is that he is not omnipresent. That means he can only be at one place at one time. So if he to release the atmosphere of the presence of the Lord. When we worship, just like the angels, worship around the throne room of heaven continuously, day in and day out, the elders are bowing before God continuously, day in and day out. There is an atmosphere, there's a presence that is there. When we do the same thing just like them, we have an extension of heaven here on the earth. Because the same thing that is in heaven is here on the earth. So we provoke and we invoke and we influence and we force heaven to extend itself into the environment and we change the atmosphere in the process of doing so with the right culture. Praise and worship is a cultural law of the kingdom that reproduces heavenly environments and atmosphere wherever it is applied. So let us bring heaven to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, watch this. So the key for changing the environment and the atmosphere is praise and worship. Judah, the Bible says, 